If you have got the boring old search system, it's time for you to upgrade with AI and you do not have to build anything from scratch. Thanks to Cohere ReRank, in single line of code, you can make your search a semantic search, the search powered by artificial intelligence. Cohere ReRank is a new offering where you can do a very small change to your existing search system and that can make your search a semantic search. Before we even go there, what is semantic search? Traditional search system used to work with keyword mapping. You search for a particular keyword and it is going to look for that particular keyword in the corpus of text and it is going to return the particular page with that keyword. There are a lot of nuances go into that, like for example, recency, but ultimately it was matching the keyword, the lexicon based searching. But in modern days, that is not sufficiently enough because your customers are looking for a solution, not just a pattern matching system. So that is where semantic search comes into picture where you can ask a question. The search is going to understand the question and based on the understanding is going to give you the result, which is semantic based system rather than a simple lexicon or keyword based search system. And if you see Cohere search, the example here that they've given is where is New York City located for that matter. It doesn't say New York City. It just says NYC, but still it managed to give you the result that is because it is a semantic search. And if you have to include this in your code, all you have to do is a very simple change to your existing search system. The query and the docs are sent together with Cohere ReRank and that's going to give you the ranked list. It's quite actually very interesting in the way they are doing it. You don't have to build your own embeddings or you don't have to do anything there. You just have to use this and it's going to give you a new re-ranking methodology. And where do you think Cohere re-rank could be helpful? You are an organization or a small and medium business where you have got a traditional search or you have an elastic search or open search. If you have got these kind of searches and you want to make this search powered by AI, to be semantic search, you can use Cohere ReRank. The next place is you have got an e-commerce website and you want to make sure that you match what the customers are searching for semantically, not just based on keywords. And that's where, for example, if somebody is looking for cycling accessories, you not necessarily show everything that's just related to cycle, but also it understands that, oh, maybe a helmet is good. Maybe a watch, waterproof watch is good and you give all these things as part of the search result and that expenses. It goes on and, and in fact, like if you have an internal portal in your organization, sometimes um, finding a knowledge base article is difficult. If you've got a customer support system, then your customer support system should find the knowledge base articles to help your customers understand the problem. So in those cases, again, you can use a semantic search that can help your customer support spend less time in knowledge discovery. It can help your customer spend less time in knowledge discovery because your search is semantic search now. Now, all these discussions are quite good, but how do you implement this? Implementation is very simple. You have to just import the Cohere library. You need to get their API key. Then you need to send the query, like what the query is, and also the docs for which you want to do the re-ranking as part of the Cohere re-rank API call. So the query, and the docs goes together and you're asking for the top th three items like re-ranked and it is going to give you a re-ranked list of items. Like this is how the response is going to look like. For example, the question is what is the capital of United States? It has got like four documents going inside with this. One is about Carson City, second one is about Commonwealth, third one is about Washington DC and the fourth one is about capital punishment. If you see this particular example, you know the capital as a keyword is present in capital punishment capital as a keyword is present in capital city and capital as a keyword is also present in the second document. A traditional keyword based search system or a lexicon based search system would have just probably given you something one of these, but because this is a semantic search, it understands things better and it uses definitely neural networks. You can see that it is going to do all these things and do a re-rank. Okay. The first document ranked is the, actually the second document, um, uh, sorry, the first rank document is Washington DC. The second rank document is this, the third rank document is this, and it has given you the three ranks for you to go with. And it also gives you a relevant score 
for you to decide whether this is something that you want to show it to the user or whether it doesn't make sense. For example, in machine learning, we have uh, typically have this habit of doing a cutoff in a lot of places like after 0.5, sometimes 0.7, just to make sure that we reduce the false positives. So this is something that you can do because you also get the relevant score back. So why do you have to use re-rank? You have to, if you want to use re-rank uh, with powerful semantic search capabilities and you want to make the implementation easily with less and minimal operational cost, then it makes sense for you to use re-rank. Wondering, hey, I can build embeddings and do a semantic search. Why should I use something like Cohere re-rank that uses a cross encoder? If you are wondering the same thing, just like me, then this is the answer for you. So if you are using embeddings and building a semantic search based on embeddings, then you need to know that the model uh, computes embeddings for query separately and the document separately. Like when the document is already present in your system, there is an embedding already created. When the user sends a query, then there is a new embedding that is created and that's how these two are similarly matched. But when you use Cohere re-rank, which is using cross encoder, the model looks at both document and the query together and computes a similarity score, which is quite helpful in a lot of use cases, which wouldn't have been possible with an embedding based system. But also there is a disadvantage. Embeddings, which is less precise, but it is really good for processing a large amount of document. Imagine you have got like 200,000, 200, 300,000 million documents, then probably you should use an embedding based systems, even though it is lesser precise. But if you have lesser documents, then it makes more sense to use Cohere re-rank. The real advantage of using a system like re-rank because it uses cross encoder, it's slightly slower. Also, it can give you a better, more precise result. So this is a trade-off that you need to think while you're doing it. And that's where it's quite helpful. If you already have an existing search system, the way you can implement Cohere re-rank is you can use your existing logic or whatever the system that you have got get let's say top end result like 10 or something or 100 and then use cohere re-rank on top of that like like a final layer and that can help you build a more sophisticated like less expensive more precise system than what you were using before so a combination of your existing system plus cohere re-rank on top of that could really give you a powerful AI search system that wouldn't have been possible otherwise, or also like more, it would have been more expensive. You would have had to build embeddings, maintain the embeddings and all these things. But right now you do not have to do all those things. Simply just plug this into your existing uh, architecture and you are good to go. I'd like to quickly take you to the developer documents and then say, show you how easy it is to do it in any language, for example, if you're doing it in Python, all you have to do is import their library SDK, do the call that we just discussed about. But if you want to do it in any other languages, and because this is an API endpoint at the end of the day, it can basically, you know, happen in all these languages. For example, you want to, you have um, an Apple iOS application and you want to implement this. You can do it in Swift. All you have to do is use this library and uh, use this code, starting code, and then it can help you send the documents and also the query to the re-rank API and get a re-ranked list of an ordered array back with the relevant score, which you can use to filter and also show the ranked array. So this is extremely helpful. Uh, I would strongly encourage you to try it out. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to put together a use case, like for example, how to build a semantic search. If you do not have any search, a lot of people have been building semantic search with weight embeddings but we can try it out something with as simple as Cohere re-rank. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you would like. But again, if you are a small and medium business, or if you are somebody who has a legacy search system, this is an excellent opportunity for you to use Cohere re-rank and then upgrade or power empower your search system with AI. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. If you have any concerns and questions, see you in another video. Happy prompting.